Take a bow. Take a bow. Take a bow and go. Take a bow and go. Take a bow and go. Besides the numerous bow and go orders from Godswell Akpabio, Senate President, the screening of President Bola Tinubu's ministerial nominees was not short on drama at all. Here are nine things to remember. Isha Kwabo boast of common entrance feats. I sat for common entrance examination when I was in primary three and I won. Well done, sir. Edun, the boxing champion. Wale Edun, a former finance commissioner in Lagos, disclosed that he was an amateur boxing champion as a student. Having been a national amateur boxing champion during my student days, I've taken great interest in working with the state boxing associations in Ogun State and Lagos State to channel the energies of young people in the right direction. There you have it. Hanatsu Musawa cries, gets little sympathy from Akabio. Musawa, a nominee from Kasana, arrived at her screening session with some anecdotes. One was about how her father traded in colonels to send her to school and how his passing this year meant he wasn't there to see her being screened for the position of a federal minister. Some senators didn't like this at all and said so. Akpabio stopped Musawa from continuing with her address and reminded her that she was not addressing the UN. What we expect from you is just not the, an address to the United Nations. At this point, she let the tears flow. Oh my god! That was cold. El Rufai attacked with insecurity question. During his screening, Nasi El Rufai, former Kaduna governor, analyzed the problem with Nigeria's electricity sector so well you could have applauded. Out of the blues, a question capable of rattling El Rufai arrived. He had the potential of being a banana skin. The senator who raised it said something about insecurity in some parts of Kaduna. Thankfully, Akpabio and others rallied behind El Rufai and asked him to take a bow and go. <laughs> Dele Alaki asked to recite national anthem. Simon Mwankon, Senate Minority Leader, wanted Dele Alake to recite the second stanza of the national anthem. However, the Senate Majority Leader and Senate President put pay to that line of questioning and Alake didn't have to recite the anthem. Thankfully. How did you get into university with two credits? This question was posed to Bello Mohammed, a ministerial nominee from Sokoto State, over his academic certificates. You sat for five subjects with two credits. I would want you to explain how you got into university with that. Thank you. His answer was that... I didn't bother you with much, much, much certificates. But I know I don't have the qualification for that. And I want to remind distinguished senator that the qualification of secondary school certificate as enshrined in the constitution, you can stand for an election up to the presidential election. Akpabio wasn't happy about this at all. He are saying that you chose the qualification to bring before the Senate because of the constitutional provision that uh, a secondary school certificate is what is required to stand for election. You are not coming to stand for election. You are coming to be a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Wow. We can tell stories of his flyovers again. It isn't a public forum with Nyesom Wike in attendance if his 12 flyovers in four years do not get a mention. And so it was that when Wike appeared before the Senate on Monday, we were reminded of those flyovers and how his infrastructure magic worked in Rivers. It's on record. In four years, I constructed 12 flyovers. In four years. Oh my God! Wow! Akpabi and a handful of other senators were so impressed they asked the former governor to take a bow and go. Yeah, uh, your excellency, take a bow. Bosun Tijani forced to apologize. Days before his screening, old tweets of Tijani, in which he referred to senators as morons and denounced the Nigerian passports, among others, made the rounds on social media. 
On the day of his screening, the senators made sure that the CEO of CC Hub swallowed all of his old tweets and more. Tijani was forced to apologize to the Senate twice after his first apology was deemed not good enough. He has since been confirmed as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You think so, they're wise? First to Skeyamo's screening step down. Former Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Kayamo, was forced to apologize to the Senate for previously snubbing them and shunning their summons. It took Akpabio running to Aso Villa to meet with President Tunubu before Kayamo's screening session could proceed. The lawyer has since been confirmed.